A doctor, a nurse, a pharmacist, a first responder, a ribbon for each life lost. I want them to see the scale of what this means. Nearly 3,000, enough to line the sidewalk in front of Carol Tim's house in Fort Collins, from one corner to the next. There are at least 2,900. The actual number that I've used was 2,921. Uh, which seems to be the best available data that there is. The number comes from an investigation done by The Guardian and Kaiser Health News. The government hasn't released data on how many healthcare workers have died from COVID-19 in the United States. Whether they're doctors or whether they're orderlies, these are people who are doing their jobs, who who um, sacrificed, they were on the front lines and they died. For Carol, the number is personal. I was a doctor for 38 years. Uh, I retired two years ago. For decades, she worked to treat the sick and help the injured. Now she wants to make sure she can honor the sacrifices of her colleagues. I got about halfway down this li line before I started crying. The number of victims of the pandemic has grown to a point that's difficult to comprehend. On a neighborhood block in Fort Collins. Each one of these are people that have you know, basically been lost. The toll the virus has taken is on display. Carol wants everyone to look. People don't know it, but they should know it because because the, these, the folks that are doing this care are sacrificing so much. A small way to remember the lives lost. In Fort Collins, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News.